let's talk mesh creation. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to go into 3ds Max 2014, um, it doesn't really matter which one you're using, and we're going to um, customize the grid and the overall unit setup to match that of Second Life. So that whatever you create inside of 3ds Max um, will be pretty much 100% accurate when uploaded to the grid or imported depending which perspective you're viewing it from. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, um, let's go to customize. Now you may want to use your own avatar or you may want to use, I don't know, just as, as a bog standard um, character mesh from, from a website. It doesn't We're not actually gonna be uploading this. This is just a reference for me so that I can compare what I make to this and know that it's going to be accurate in size and measurements. So let's go to customize and unit setup. Metric meters. Because that's what Second Life works in meters. Click OK. Now, as I said, I believe the maximum height for a um, avatar in Second Life is 2.20 meters, which is 2.2 meters to be more precise. Um, now a door would be about 2.5 meters. Okay, so let's go ahead and set it up so that um, we can get first of all get the the height of an avatar. Okay, so we're going to go up here and snap toggle, right click it, um, home grid, and set this to 0 0.2. Mm, two zero, I believe. Two zero. Uh, no, yeah, no, no point two zero. Yeah. All viewports. Okay, close it down. Left view. Now if I go ahead and I um, put on a box, like so. I'll turn this off. I'll, I'll explain this more in a moment. Put on a box like that, and I put this to. 2.2 meters tall. Okay, and let's just turn this to 0 0.300. 0 0.300. Okay, go into the left view, and as you can see, it's actually snapping to the um, grid. And this is the height of your, the maximum height, sorry, of an avatar. This box is how tall an avatar actually is. Um, now what I can do is I can go to um, clone it, control V for cloning, copy, okay, move it over, and I can say for example, okay, 2.5, which for me is roughly the size of a door, let's turn this down to maybe 0 0.2, maybe a little bit more, like that, and that is pretty much, maybe a bit wider like this. Okay, and this is pretty much the size of a door in Second Life. So here you have your avatar size and your box standard door size. I'm just going to go ahead and um, give them different colors so that I can differentiate between the two. Maybe a nice little blue color there. There we go. And what you can now do is you can go ahead and click on your... Um, on the ref on the avatar reference or template, I will provide this in the description. This is actually a Second Life uh, model um, used by people to you know as uh, for this exact same thing to reference um, their builds. So I'm just going to click on this, go into the left view, and I'm going to use the scale tool to scale it up like this. Just blur the line to be safe. Okay, and here we have it. And there we go. Now, so you got this. You know, this is this is your absolute um, avatar reference size, and this is pretty much the size of a door. So now, what you can do is you can build you can build things around this using the grid. And I will, I will demonstrate that in the next tutorial, but I'm just going to quickly go ahead and um, show you what I mean here. 
I'm just going to go ahead and um, zero this out and upload it, sorry, import, whatever, to the actual grid um, DAE, which is what we need. References, um, SL Avatar. Oops, SL Avatar. 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 <laughs> Avatar. Okay, save. Okay. Go into this. I've already done it here, but I'm just going to demonstrate it to you. My avatar is 2.2 meters, but that's only because I wanted to you know, show you how accurate it is. So upload a mesh. Desktop. So I've got so much stuff here. So many things. I'm just working on multiple things. Second life. Here we go. Projects. Here we go. Give it a name. Height test, I suppose. Now, when we do this, you will notice that it's pretty much the same size, the same height as me now. As you can see, if I just lower this down a little bit to like there, whatever, and I show you this from the side, without my hair, it's pretty darn accurate. Okay, so, okay, so that'll do for this tutorial. In the next one, I'm going to show you how you can, you know, um, accurately make or build things using mesh, mesh objects, group them together, and then import them to um, OS Grid, and then rep pretty much replicate that build so that you're not having to... Um, you know, use to, to put it bluntly. Okay, a lot of people, a lot of people here actually come to OS Grid to try out their um, builds, and then they upload them to um, Second Life or whatever. But yeah, I prefer to use OS Grid. So I'll show you in the next tutorial what I'm talking about. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.